of Ferdinand Marcos Jr. marks one year in power. We examine his domestic and foreign policy challenges, from pursuing warmer relations with the U.S. to taking a tougher stance in defending the Philippines' claims in the South China Sea. Or his administration, with him as the president, has been working to balance relations with the world's biggest superpowers. CNA's Buena Bernal takes a look at how the Philippine leaders' foreign policy is shaping up a year on in the first of a two-part series. Policy. I will not preside over any process that will abandon even one square inch of territory of the Republic of the Philippines to any foreign power. A vow made by Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. in his first State of the Nation address. A year since he took office, the Spratly, or Nansha Islands in the South China Sea, remains an arena of persistent radio challenges among Philippine and Chinese law enforcement personnel posted there. The area is entirely claimed by China, Taiwan and Vietnam, with portions by Malaysia and the Philippines. Chinese Coast Guard 5403. This is Philippine Navy LMS. In accordance with international laws, you are not authorized to conducting maritime patrol or any other activities in this sea area. Be advised to leave the vicinity immediately. Over. Some 35 families live in this island, internationally known as Thitu, locally called Pag-asa. Pag-asa in English means hope, and Hope Island is the only island among the Philippine-controlled features in the disputed South China Sea that is occupied by a civilian population. Janelle Hugo is a fisherman here. He says they are unable to fish freely near Sandy Cay, a group of three uninhabited sandbars claimed by both China and the Philippines, located in between Thetu and Chinese-held Subi Reef, guarded by China's vessels. Pinapaalis kami doon pag doon kami banda ng taga-kabilang bansa. Nagagalit sila, nagatiratawagan kami sa radyo na umalis kami doon dahil sa kanila daw yung lugar na ito. Natatakot din kami pero uh, hindi, hindi rin sila makapunta sa mababaw kasi nandun lang din kami sa loob ng baura. At tapos pagpaalis na, tatimingan lang namin na malayo sila bago kami magsirit pa uwi dito. In my visit to Thetu, a group of domestic tourists were able to travel to one of the sandbars of Sandy Cay and wave the Philippine flag to the dismay of China. China's embassy in Manila called the activity a unilateral action that may escalate the situation. It warned against any action on uninhabited islands in the Spratlys, but it did not respond to a question I raised on whether China views civilian and fishermen visits as habitation, which is discouraged on uninhabited islands of the South China Sea by the Declaration on the Conduct of Parties, signed over 20 years ago. Under the Marcos Jr. administration, a direct communication line is set up between China and the Philippines for maritime incidents in the South China Sea. But analyst Don McLean Gill says there's a disconnect in the actions and pronouncements by China. There is always a discrepancy between what China says at the political level and what it does on the ground. It is unwilling to compromise its narrowly driven regional ambitions. And because of that understanding, the M Manila was quick to, of course, uh, mobilize its uh, diplomatic and defense network, particularly in line with our traditional ally. No other country comes close to the United States in terms of providing us uh, Manila uh, with defense uh, capabilities. Manila's ties with Washington have deepened under the Marcos administration. Mr. Marcos Jr. has granted the U.S. military access to more bases and is open to engage in trilateral forms of cooperation with the U.S. and its allies, such as this first ever trilateral maritime exercise among Japan, U.S. and the Philippines in the territorial seas of the Philippines facing China. Days later, China also sent a naval training ship to Manila for a goodwill port visit. But China-Philippines ties remain geared towards trade and tourism.
As the Marcus Jr. administration enters its second year, countries will continue to court the Philippines due to its strategic location, with the South China Sea to its west and the Taiwan Strait to its north. Buen Renal, CNA, Spratly Islands.